for your organization. Okay, what do you you know what do you already have going on that that will make donors open their hearts and their minds and their wallets. Um, and create a single template for each broadcast. So you, you know, we all have to learn now to think like radio hosts or think like TV hosts. So you have to have, you know, an introduction. You have to have a couple of questions queued up. Uh, you have to um, be able to respond to commenters when it's going live, and you have to end it with kind of a call to action and where to get further information. When you do it, don't just go live. <laughs> Um, that's, oh, just push a button and go live. You know, build up to it. Let people know when you're going to broadcast. Think about doing it as a regular segment, you know, every Thursday at noon kind of thing, um, or whatever's going to work for you. Uh, make sure that you're tracking your call to action. Um, you can use Bitly, Google Analytics tracking codes. Uh, make sure, you know, so you want to see how many people that saw this live broadcast actually went over to our website and signed up. Or, or read, you know, read more, you know, ask for more information. Um, at this point, I think we're not using it to do the ask per se, but to get them over so you can have permission to recontact them. And then also do a follow up post because uh, Facebook Live nicely archives that video, so you can uh, do a whole separate post with a link to the video and a, another link to the CTA and thank them. And you can actually, you know, start telling people on other platforms that you've done this as well. So if you want to get started, uh, the best uh, that I found is John Hyden, and he has two really good articles uh, that give you some good tips on getting started, technical tips, and also the second one is a list, oh no, it's the first one, uh, a list of like 40 or 50 different ideas to show a moment of impact with examples. So uh, 